Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Chad here with another In the OT podcast, BetUpSportsBlog.com. Didn't get a chance to break down the Cole Hamels extension here with the Phillies in my previous uh, podcast today about what's been going on with baseball, in particular the Marlins and their trades here. An absolutely monster deal. Six years, $144 million, which will see him making an average of $25 million per season, or $24 million. And um, it is the second uh, highest paid pitcher in Major League Baseball when his contract starts. Only CC Sabathia's seven-year $161 million deal will see him making more money. He does have a no-trade clause through the season of 2019. And personally, I'm not a big fan of this move here. I think that they did overpay for Cole Hamels. And I'm not saying he's not a great pitcher. He definitely is. But there's no reason to have to go out there and spend this kind of money on him. He's not someone that has been that consistent the last number of years and really hasn't been quite as good as he was in the 2000 2008 season when he won the MVP of the World Series. And when you look at the current makeup of this Philadelphia Phillies team, I don't know why on earth they'd want to go out there and commit more long-term money to starting pitcher when the reality is the biggest weakness of this team is their offense, especially moving forward when you look at their current roster right now. I mean, we know the injuries that have plagued the likes of a Chase Utley and a Ryan Howard the last few years. They're not getting any younger, and these guys make a ton of money, so it makes it very difficult to bring in other offensive players as well. And if they're not going to be producing at their maximum capability, then you're getting absolutely hosed on those deals. And even if they do perform at their highest level, then you're maybe getting fair market value on their contracts. And then after that, who knows what's going to happen with their offense. All the rumors are now saying Hunter Pence is going to leave. Shane Victorino is getting older. Jimmy Rollins is, you know, getting older as well. It doesn't appear that they have any young prospects that are ready to come up and make a difference offensively and they're clearly not in the lineup right now we saw what the number one issue that's hurt them in the postseason the last few years when they lost to the Cardinals and the Giants was hitting not pitching so would it not make more sense to take that money and try to bring in some more big time bats to this lineup instead of going out there and signing another pitcher to making over 20 million dollars a year now when you look at their rotation with Cliff Lee Roy Halladay and Hamels off three starters making over 20 million dollars a season long term and considering that their pitching has been pretty good the last few years and their offense has been the weakness why on earth would they do that I don't understand it now someone could make the argument that they didn't want to let Hamels go and they knew they'd have to overpay him and they just wanted to retain him and maybe they're going to go ahead and trade either a Lee or Halliday who still obviously have tremendous value on the open market and if that's the case fine I can somewhat agree because then now they're at least shopping somebody else around who has some value but I don't know if that's necessarily the goal here with this Phillies team because if I'm not mistaken both of those starting pitchers Halliday and Lee also have no trade clauses as well so I don't really understand the direction of this team with this move here I mean they could have easily traded him and got back some other assets well maybe not right now because he was an unrestricted free agent but I think they should have made a decision this offseason in terms of what uh, direction they were going to go with their starting rotation and bring in maybe some potential other offensive guys. So, I mean, it's just so difficult to shell out $25 million a year for a starting pitcher for that long, especially when you know how easily these guys get injured and the psychological the psychology of these pitchers is so fragile. And uh, like I said, Cole Hamels is good. He's a year in year at All Star, but is he someone that you really consider to be sort of that Cy Young candidate on an annual basis? I would say not. And generally, making 25 plus million a year and around that range would be reserved for someone like that. So that's why I think they completely overpaid here. And of course, Cole Hamels is going to be happy. Who would want to leave the team that's honed you and you've had all your success within your career and be getting paid this kind of money? That's my thoughts on everything here. I'd love to hear from the Philly fans who are just terrific sports fans who really have fantastic insight on their sports teams, what they think about my comments, and just in general with this extension and the direction of this uh, ball club moving forward.